a fraternal greeting to all the friends uh, of Cuba in Australia who from the trade union movements, friendship societies and other solidarity organizations carry out an important uh, work in support of our people. On behalf of ICAP, we would like to convey uh, our gratitude for the systematic solidarity provided in the demonstrations in front of the U.S. diplomatic representations, the collection of donations and the celebration of significant dates for our process, such as the one that brings us together today. As many know, July 26, 1953 marked a milestone in the history of Cuba and the struggle of the Cuban people to achieve our full independence and sovereignty. After the coup d'etat carried out by the dictator Fulgencio Batista, the growing social gap and the excessive violence deployed against the Cuban people added to the, uh, the fold to the interest of the United States led to the radicalization of our process and the thought of the centenary generation. Expression of that context and the need for a revolutionary transformation is the claim of self-defense made by our commander-in-chief Fidel Castro after being arrested for the action of July 26. The historic document known as the History Will Absolve Me became the program of the Cuban Revolutionary Movement at that time and the governmental agenda when the revolution triumphed. Uh, for this reason, we Cubans continue to celebrate this date as the National Revelry uh, Day and it is a reference to face our challenges as it reminds us why do we needed a revolution and also a part of the history to which we do not aspire to return anymore. In this sense, there is a whole communicational offensive against Cuba with the aim of reinstating the capitalist model prior to the uh, Cuban Revolution, submissive and neocolonized under the US hegemonism. Recently, Using the new technologies and the anti-Cuban media apparatus, it is intended to generate a state of hopelessness and chaos that will lead to a new version of the violent event of July 11th of the last, uh, of the last, uh, the last year. To do this, they also take advantage of the complex economic situation in the country which is greatly influenced by the system of unilateral sanctions imposed by the nation itself which promotes, collaborates and finances destabilization plans against our process. The 1960 uh, memorandum uh, of the by then US Under Secretary of State Lester Mallory today acquired considerable uh, considerable uh, validity and constitute a doctrinal axis in the Washington's policy toward our country. Despite showing certain indicators that denote a rebound uh, the Cuban economy in the first quarter of the year, the instability of the fuel supplies and electricity generation capacity, the enormous limitation to operate with foreign currency uh, to carry out our import and our economical uh, transactions, uh, the effects on global supply, uh, supply chains, the increase in the cost of raw materials and freight, they have been a great limitation to advance more quickly and solidly in our project. All this added to the impact of the US blockade uh, that opportunity, uh, opportunistically uh, was intensified during the pandemic uh, stage. Despite this, our country does not give up on continuing uh, to work to improve our country's economy performance. The greatest current challenge that we are facing right now, together with the media and ideological warfare uh, that is weight, uh, waged 
uh, against us and the economic updating process that we are facing right now is to achieve stability and the development of our electro energy generation system. Currently, given the, the need to carry out total or partial repairs in the large part of our power, uh, power generators, the existence of serious breakdown is, uh, breakdowns in some of them and the limitation in the acquisition of uh, fuel has generated a complex situation uh, that has brought with it important effects on the population and economic production. Intensive work have been done to cause the least impact and to be able to complete an important part of the repairs for the summer stage where uh, conception peaks are the highest in the year. Likewise, uh, likewise uh, efforts are being redoubled to deploy alternative and renewable uh, sources of energy. Cuba aims to recover from this stage that it is so complex and at the same time full of moments of pride and enormous achievement. We can proudly inform you that Cuba is the nation with the highest percentage of its population that have been vaccinated with booster doses and remains among the top three nations with the best vaccination indicators for its population, including children over two years old. For over nine weeks, uh, I think more than nine weeks, our country has not reported any death from COVID-19 which demonstrate the enormous success of Cuban vaccine and its vaccination uh, strategy. Our main economic engine, tourism, uh, begins to show some sign of revitalization. Uh, by the mid-June, our country had received just over a half a million tourists and it is proposed to reach two, uh, two million visitors by the end of the year. The harmonious production chain between the private se and state sector uh, and the creation of new um, micro, micro, small and middle-sized uh, enterprises continue to be promoted by the government. According to the, last, the latest uh, report from the Ministry of uh, Economy, up to this month, more than 4,100 micro, small and middle-sized enterprises have been approved uh, between the state-owned and uh, private companies. The repair and maintenance uh, works of the national electrical system are equally of great merit. And on several occasions, even our president uh, Miguel Díaz-Canel has praised uh, priced the dedication and effort of the workers and young leaders that are participating in this transcendental task. On the other hand, uh, important legislative transformation are taking place uh, with the aim of tempering the laws to the new context that the country is uh, experiencing and the changes produced in our constitution approved in 2019. It is worth highlighting in this matter the project of the new Families Code, which after a process of confirmation and consultation of experts began on a stage of uh, popular consultation with the objective of further enriching this legal document and making the population participate democratically in the construction of this project. From the solidarity movement, it is very helpful that our friends collaborate in the identification of young figures and youth groups, as well as peace organizations with uh, which we can work together with the purpose of finding points of connections with uh, some of their topics of interest and offer them the Cuban visions and work on those issues. At the same time, it is a strength to maintain demonstrations, caravan, and other initiatives making the Cuban cause visible. Likewise, 
it will be of great importance to ask your uh, to ask your local governmental structures and parliamentary uh, representative to speak out on the issue of the blockade against our country carrying out any uh, other kind of collective initiative and the contribution to some of the um, cooperation projects promoted uh, from Cuba will also be uh, very important and will contribute to support our people. Finally, um, we are very grateful for the opportunity you give us to be able to address you and explain uh, about the country reality. And we extend the invitation to all of you to visit us so you can see and interact by yourself with the challenges that we are facing. We are working uh, on the next edition of the Southern Cross Brigade that will come to our country from December uh, 29th of this year until January 17th, 2023. And maybe some of you can be protagonists of this uh, historical uh, historic brigade. Likewise, um, we will be celebrating some festivities, academic and cultural events that could be uh, of interest of you and take advantage of the occasion to visit Cuba. We will always receive you uh, with our open arm. Uh, once again, thank you very much for your unconditional support to Cuba and for your solidarity actions. We are guided by the humanist vocation of the revolution that aspired to continue building its project in peace. That's why our main hashtag in the communicational uh, in this uh, communication fight that uh, we have been facing right now, the has been a Cuba for peace. And we hope that you will also join us in this important struggle. We invite you to follow our accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube so you regularly receive information about Cuba and our support to other just causes around the world. But then, uh, a big hug to everyone from the Cuban Institute of Friendship with the People. Thank you very much and bye.